One in 10 people will develop atopic dermatitis during their lifetime. The disease affects up to 25% of children and nearly 3% of all adults. Yet, despite this, there have been limited advancements in the way this disease is monitored and treated, especially now since there are new e-health technologies that have had a profound impact in other fields of dermatology. Atopic dermatitis, or as it's most commonly known, eczema, breaks down the natural barrier properties of the skin. This barrier protects you from external influences like allergens and viruses, and it also prevents excessive dehydration of the skin. This dehydration causes visible wound-like patches on the skin that are much drier, appear red, and are also quite itchy. Currently, there is no cure for this condition. But with proper monitoring and treatment procedure, the symptoms can be alleviated and the condition can be controlled. The only established way for this condition to be assessed is through visual observation on site by a doctor. There is no accepted empirical measurement for determining the severity of this disease and there is no way for patients to continuously monitor their treatment remotely. Everything is done through invasive medical tests on site. Furthermore, visual observation carries the inherent risk of subjectivity. And this is where my research comes in. I'm trying to develop a sensor that would distinguish the condition determine its severity, monitor its treatment, and ideally diagnose atopic dermatitis. To achieve this, I use an interdigitated electrode that is measuring the hydration of the outermost layers of the skin. In eczema, these layers would be severely dehydrated, and the lack of water molecules would cause a change in the electric properties of the skin, ultimately a change in capacitance. Currently, the sensor is printed onto a textile armband, but I'm developing a bespoke readout circuit to make this a fully portable system. The pattern of the electrode is optimized for screening in these specific outermost layers. My findings so far have revealed that there is a measurable change in capacitance between different severity states of the condition. Furthermore, the sensor can monitor the efficacy of different treatment creams, measuring their effect in time while wearing the device. In further studies, the device will be tested on more patients with the condition to strengthen these findings and to determine whether or not this sensor can distinguish the condition from similar ones. Ultimately, the goal is to uncover more useful insights about this disease.